You might be seeing them outside Allegiant Stadium after games or even on the strip. They're selling hot dogs and other foods. But if those street food vendors are legally allowed to sell food at those locations, that has been an issue. Now there's a push to change the law. Kim Passoff takes us to a hearing held earlier today. I have seen firsthand the unfair treatment towards street vendors as a son of a former street vendor. I, I witnessed um, how my parents faced some horrific uh, experiences and humiliations. I was seven years old when I saw the police throw away my parents' fruit that put food on our table and a roof over our heads. I felt confused and scared that they were going to separate my family. Mauricio Garcia Lopez testifying before the Nevada Senate Committee on Governmental Affairs. His parents used to sell oranges in Las Vegas and were treated like criminals for trying to make a living. My grandmother and my mom would go door to door to sell tamales to make ends meet. State Senator Fabian Donate, who introduced the bill, says it will offer much needed protection. Senate Bill 92 would create a pathway to legitimize street food vendors in Nevada. Legalizing street vending not only protects their livelihoods, but also reduces the risk of fines, arrest, and even deportation. According to Senator Donate, the number of sidewalk vendors in Nevada has increased over the years. They are mostly of Latino immigrant backgrounds, and every county and city in the state has different regulations for them. You mentioned that some of the roaming street vendors were concerned about the Board of Health following them around. But I mean, the Board of Health is there to protect citizens who purchase food from getting foodborne illnesses. Senator Lisa Krasner from Reno expressed concern about ensuring the safety of the public who consumes the food they sell. I worry about the the cleanliness and the health standards and where do they wash their hands if they're roaming. Senator Donate proposes certificates could be displayed by vendors who are going through the permitting process to let the public know their food is safe to consume. And that is what these street vendors, many who gather with signs of support outside the Grant Sawyer building in Las Vegas, say they want a path to legitimacy. We believe in making it easier rather than harder for everyone to accomplish their dreams and goals. There was no vote on the bill today, only a hearing to introduce it. Fox 5 will keep you updated if the bill does move forward.